any questions for me or uh, anything yeah i wanted to me? ask about the um what drunk peasants i wanted to ask about those guys mm -hmm. because you're doing your show i know you're not very big on telegram but you're pretty big on youtube how did you get across their radar and what's their problem with you yeah so <laughs> for people that don't know the drunken Pe peasants were uh, associated with the amazing atheist who was pretty popular like probably like 10 years ago on YouTube and he was like one of the first like big atheists trying to basically convince people that there is no God and just indulge in your hedonistic uh, desires and stuff and then uh, somebody leaked a video of him shoving a banana up his ass <laughs> and uh, <laughs> but anyway so I guess he started this podcast or something and then it went on to these other people one of the guys name is Billy the Fridge and then there's this other really ugly person I don't, I don't know his name and um, they're basically complete degenerates they're associated with Vosh and stuff like that and they do this podcast or whatever and um they found me because uh, I made a video going to the first Stop the Steal rally uh, where I met Nick Fuentes and uh, I did, actually I went to two of them and I met Nick Fuentes twice. The second one I ended up being on stage with him. I'm actually in oh, the, uh, yeah, I'm in the uh, congressional records of like for all of history because during the <laughs> impeachment trial they played the clip of Nick Fuentes giving his speech and I'm like right next to him, right behind him in the background or whatever. So I'll be in like <laughs> in the congressional committee history forever, which I think is just really awesome. But um, so yeah, they found that. And uh, then they just started watching my videos on their podcast and they're just really low IQ, like degenerate leftists. Like they're, they're hard, they have like zero opinions. The guy didn't even know what a father-in-law was. I, I, they're watching my videos and I'm talking about um, like, Oh, I was with my dad and my father-in-law and the guy's like, wait, can we pause this for a second? His dad and his father-in-law, how does that work? Are they like gay together? Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, the other guy was like, no, it's his wife's dad. Right? He's like, oh, I don't know. I'm not married. I don't know how that works. It's like, oh, really? Shocker. You're not married. But yeah, they're just totally, wow. he's like obese and everybody on the show is just like totally dysgenic. They're like, they have no, no morals. They don't believe in God or sin or any type of, uh, objective, um, like truth or anything like that but uh, I, I do find it funny they've talked about me like 15 times now like they do like almost every other week it's hilarious that's awesome yeah. that's awesome yeah physiognomy check on those guys and, and you know you know what's funny too is that um at first i was like oh this is cool because like maybe i'll get some traction to my channel and stuff like that and then they actually made a good point they were like the people that watch our show are not going to be into you and i was like yeah you're actually right the people that like your show are like totally degenerates who are the opposite of people that i'm trying to att attract but then yeah. i've had like probably like 20 people message me saying they found me through the drunken presence and that they like agree with a lot of what I said. So it did actually kind of get a couple people. It's like, and it was funny. The, um, so I, so they talked about me once and then I made a response video and then they kept responding to me and I was just like, all right, I'm not going to respond to them anymore. But then I made another response video because they had Vosh on there and Vosh was talking about me uh, the whole time. And that's really funny. I recommend people go watch that. That's one of my favorite uploads is me like nice. re reacting to Vosh reacting to me, which is, it's just so funny. Cause he has like hundreds of thousands of subscribers and I have like, now I have like a thousand on YouTube or whatever. I'm like this obscure nobody. And like all of these people who have like so much more clout than me, always like, I'm always attracting all of this negative attention. It's insane. Well, the, the uh, number of, the first rule of media is never punch down, always punch up. And they are disobeying that rule and punching down and they're giving you a lot of attention, yeah, which is awesome. Yeah.